We're so glad you're with us today. This month is National Radon Action Month. Radon is a chemical that can be toxic to our health and if we're exposed to too much of it, but we may not even know it's there. Right, it can cause cancer. Lindy Campbell with Breath of Hope Kentucky is a cancer survivor herself. She joins us now to kind of break down what she's learned from her experience. You said this is something you had no idea was even, you were at risk for. No, I've lived here all my life and we just keep hearing that lung cancer is linked directly to smoking. And one of the things that I'm trying to do is let people realize that there are other reasons why you can get lung cancer. And you never smoked. Never smoked at all. Um, I did grow up around secondhand smoke, but I actually radon Trump's secondhand smoke exposure. Wow. More than 21,000 deaths a year due to lung cancer, uh, uh, radon induced lung cancer. What exactly is radon? Well, radon is actually just a natural occurring um, gas, radioactive gas um, that comes out of the soil due to decaying uranium, uh, which that gets way too technical, but it, we can't avoid it. And um, more than, it's really in every county in Kentucky. And unless really? you test for it, you can't see it, smell it, taste it. You don't know if you've been exposed to it, so you don't have symptoms. And um, it is the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers. Wow. And second overall to smoking. So now, amazing. you say you can't really predict it. Are there any specific homes that maybe should, maybe you should go ahead and start testing it in? Any, any home is right. at risk of being exposed. And the thing of it is, you can have your neighbor, your neighbor could have low levels and you could have high levels. It's being emitted from the soil and really depending on, especially basements and first levels, you don't know uh, what levels are, are creeping into your home until you test. And right now, the reason January is so important is a lot of us are closed up in our homes mm -hmm. a lot yeah. with not really good ventilation. It's a great time to test. The test you can get, you can go on to Kentucky.gov and um, and sometimes the, those tests are free. They're, it's inexpensive to test. And um, if it's, it's there, what happens? Can they get rid of well, it? Well, they can. You can get a mitigation system put in. Really, it improves the ventilation in your home. You can begin to monitor your levels year round. Um, but it's it's simple. When I was growing up, we didn't know about secondhand smoke, radon. I grew up in the 60s and 70s. You didn't even really know the dangers of smoking. We now know, and in particular today is Martin Luther King Day. A lot of kids are at home. Parents need to know daycares. There are no laws right mm -hmm. now requiring daycare facilities to test for radon. Oh. A lot of daycare facilities are in basements. And um, as parents, more than anything, if I can really get to the parents thinking about their children's health, then, you know, we might be able to make a difference. A very can, important message. Yes, yeah, definitely. Go to Thank you. KentuckyRadon.org for more information. We appreciate yes, you being here you. and sharing your story. For